mainstream mindfulness, as taught in such programs as the Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Program, or MBSR, will not really lead to a spiritual awakening. However, if you are simply looking for a way of dealing with feelings of depression, despair, anger, fear, stress, or anxiety, it will certainly help. But part of the awakening to higher and higher levels of awareness involves growing our being. And here, two things are crucial. First, the type of mindfulness taught in the West and even within most Buddhist circles will not really help one to grow one's being. This is because they teach a one-pointed mindfulness and lack an understanding of the simultaneity of mindful perceptions. And secondly, there is a proper form and sequence that we should be engaging in if we wish to grow and evolve in, and this phrase is important, a balanced and harmonious fashion. When you go to a mindfulness workshop, they will teach you how to become mindful of what you see, and then mindful of what you hear, and then mindful of what you smell or taste. They will teach you how to do a body scan and become mindful of various parts of your body, but they will not teach you to become mindful of more and more things and allow your mindful perceptions to overlap. Simultaneity is an adjective defined as existing, occurring, or operating at the same time. Our head brain is capable of thinking in words and pictures, or mindfully looking, listening, smelling, and tasting. So rather than just being mindful of what we can see, if we can become mindful of all of the perceptions we can perceive with our head brain at the same time, we will be consciously looking, while also consciously hearing, while also consciously smelling, while also consciously tasting, all here and now, in this moment. Now, I have had Buddhist friends ardently claim that this is impossible, and I might believe them if it were not for the fact that I am capable of doing this and more, and have been doing it for years. Now, they do have a point, because if you are brand new to mindfulness, it will take all of your energy and awareness just to maintain a one-pointed mindfulness. However, once you can look with mindful awareness and have developed this skill, you can then slowly stretch yourself and add hearing, smell, and or taste, slowly expanding your ability to be mindful of more and more types of perceptions. And here we must add that we are three-brained beings, and we have a head brain, a body brain, and a feeling brain. And we can be mindful in all of these brains. In our head brain, we can be mindful of what we can see, hear, smell, and taste. In our body brain, we can be mindful of our internal and external sensations. We have sensory nerve nodes in our esophagus, so if any food gets stuck there, we can sense it. The same for our stomach and lungs and numerous other places inside our body. We also have sensory nerve nodes in our skin, and so we can become mindful of the touch of clothing on our body or the air as it touches our face. And here the goal is to build up these sensory perceptions until we are mindful of the sensation of self or the sensation of our entire body as one organic whole and be mindful of our body from the bottom of our feet to the top of our head as one single and indivisible sensation of self. Now I once met someone who could only sense half his body at a time and then it got too much and all I could say was work on it and work on it, especially if you would like to awaken. Now I will not go into detail in this video, and will explain this later in the series, but the sensation of self, or the mindful awareness of our physical body breathing, is the first and most important skill we need to master when it comes to being mindful. And the final perception we can become mindful of comes through our feeling brain. So we also have to learn to be mindful of what we are feeling right here and now in this moment. 
Now I'm going to end with a brief exercise that will hopefully give you a taste of this experience, an experience that is also called self-remembering. And keep in mind that this is a very advanced practice, and I'm only introducing it to show you the ultimate goal you should be working towards. I have a YouTube series that has broken the first two parts down into much simpler steps, and we'll post the link below this video. So become aware of your body. Become aware of it from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. Become aware of your body as one organic whole. Become aware of your whole body breathing. And then let this awareness slip into second position or in the back of your awareness. And then consciously look, listen, and smell all at the same time. Consciously look, listen, and smell while sensing your body as one organic whole. Become aware of your eyes seeing, your ears hearing, your nose smelling, and even your taste buds tasting, while at the same time sensing your body from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. And then hold this awareness, this head brain looking, listening, and smelling, and this body brain sensation of self, and try to breathe in a feeling of joy and be mindful in the proper form and sequence, something we will look at a little bit more in the next video. Consciously looking, listening, and smelling, possibly tasting, while sensing your body as one organic whole, and breathing up a feeling of delight into the smile on your face. Healing Mind, Body, and Feelings The Toronto Hypnotherapist